And we're joined by special guest, Rock Paper Cynic of Dopamine.com. Is that good? Is that a good take? I unfortunately only caught about half of that, but that yeah, is pretty good. Welcome back to Wildermyth. You're welcome. As part of our contract. Do you actually need to do an intro? Uh, I, I just did. Oh. I just did it. <laughs> Sweet. All right, well, uh, welcome back to Wilder Myth. I, uh, this is a game. We're playing it. Hey. Hey. Hey, here's your first reminder to hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah, like your subscribe button. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of. Um, oh yeah, I think we were trying to decide if we were going to build up defenses, or but I don't think we need to do that. I think we can just go. Um, uh, let's go explore, uh, scout cherry oak stand. Yeah, let's do that. I uh, I had recently just gotten uh, lightning face. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I was I, I was kind of underwhelmed, I have to say, by lightning face. I can't remember um, what it does, but I know it does. Was... It's static discharge, so it does uh, unreducible damage to monsters that come near you. I think. Oh, okay. Eh, that's not bad. I guess. Uh, I guess I was hoping for an attack that I use rather than a thing that happens when. I'm never a fan of mechanics where like it happens when you are attacked or when you're approached. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, do we I want to reduce for, I, guess Kobnock, I guess for Kobnock, he doesn't want to be up close necessarily. So yeah. I can get why that would not be his favorite. Kobnock no. wants to knock the cob, not have his cob knocked. That's that's true. That's the way the cob knocks. Yeah. Um, I don't mind most of these, but I wouldn't mind getting rid of uh, the double raccoons. Maybe. Yeah, I'm 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 on board with that. I like new monsters being added to the deck. I know it makes it harder, but it also makes it more interesting. But none of those... Oh, I guess Geist is new. Yeah. And I also... I don't usually bother trying to block monsters that aren't the... Um, what should we call it? Uh, that aren't the, like, monster of the campaign. All right. Let's assault it. Let's go. Let's do it. Are we still doing this reading gimmick? I think we're supposed to read it. I All think right. that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. Might get some I'm more reading... wood for the fire. <laughs> You're reading Kobnak and Gura, and I'm reading Warstar and Santa. All right, go so, for it. All right. <clears throat> Might get some more wood for the fire. You're going to be up longer? Kobnak's already turning in. Really? I hadn't heard the snores yet. Give it time. Time for pie. Time for pie. <laughs> anyway, want company? Don't feel obliged. I won't be interesting. Just awake. <laughs> Rattle. Clunk. More wood. Oh, thanks. They have so much wood. The fire wriggles through the fresh wood, <laughs> happy as a mud dog. What, what, tell me about this wood you have. It's, uh, well, the, the wood is not as happy as a mud dog, because it's on fire. Oh. Oh, no. Worcester's eyes grow tired. He begins to see things. Yawn. Flickerings of Gorgon thought or flickerings from Leth Dam? I want to know how Gorgons think. All right. I think this is like a village. Like you get an, an image of the place you, you're about to go assault, but I want to know what's inside their brains. A Gorgon might love fire were it not against its nature. Gorgons and flame tongues might have quite a bit to say to each other. They'd sing of spreading over landscapes, nibbling at fleeing feet. Nature's only got a few patterns, they say. Pick them out, you start to see them everywhere. Warstar suddenly realizes he has no idea how much time has passed. Gorgon's on the brain tonight. <laughs> Guru? And rightly so, turns out. Snapping branches and wet grunts blow in through the trees. Guru? Santa! Kavnak! <laughs> Bleary eyes strain to see beyond the dying light. Santa! Where are my presents? So... What what just happened there? I, I We were being attacked, I thought. Yeah. J did you see the foe cards come up and there was a row extra health card? Yes. So is that a result of the the thing? Possibly, yes. Hmm. All right. So we got a raccoon in the corner there. 
I'm gonna move Santa toward the raccoon for now. There is a lot of creatures on the board that we don't know about yet. So yeah, we may as well uh, try and hit something and kill it before we get attacked by something else. All right, I'm gonna move Warstar up to get a shot at it. I forget what our characters do. This is gonna be great. Um, Gura Gura Logan over here is gonna hit this at raccoon because she is a uh, cool archer. Cobnock cool. is going to infuse this ruined wall and then throw a discus. Probably kill it, because he's a badass. Yeah, look at that. Nice. For who oh, yeah. has the cob oh. knocked today? Do not ask for whom the cob knocks. It knocks for thee. All right, it, I'm going to go up towards... Oh, yeah, there's like a lot of... Look at all these little like uh, blind spots here. I'm going to move over here. All right. Oh right! Anyone who stands near fire gets a bonus from you. Is that right? Um. What spirit blade do? I, I lost spirit blade when I moved away from. Oh, I think it's when I'm next to. When allies um... stand directly adjacent to an inter inter interfused object, they gain plus one bonus damage. So when I interfuse an object, you gain a benefit from standing next to it. Let's see, I'm gonna silk step. Oh shit! There's the geist. Yo. I'm gonna knock their cob. I'm gonna knock their oh, cob stay, like stay, a. Stay behind. Stay behind Santa if you can. All right, I'll do that. I'm just gonna infuse something. Constrict. Yeah, constrict could be good. Wild grasp. Yeah, let's go for a wild grasp. Um, and then Gur Login will come on over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for their cob like a donkey goes for a man's balls. There we go. Silk step. No, we're good. I'll, I'll go ahead and wait. Yo, what is this movement? Okay. Um, wild Santa's grass. Cut. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let let a uh, warstar go first because warstar can uh, shred that armor off of it. Um, so he's gonna attack. There, there we go. go. See? There goes that guy's armor. I was more and hoping now. for the uh, the effects of the grass rather than the damage. Oh my god. Oh yeah, so um, one of these people is... Uh, is it Gura who's uh, uh, rivals with Santa? I think you're going to do bonus damage if you hit it now. Because you're going to try and have, do... Yo! Oh no, maybe it was Kobnok. Yo, we don't remember oh. how to play this game! What, what? <laughs> All right, Santa's gonna move up oh, bummer. against it. Um, War oh yeah, Warstar should hit it with, uh, so that we can get some. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah. it's just a row. Yeah, no arm and shred, yeah. That's yeah. Fine. Oh no, here comes a boar. Yo. Oh, hey, I wonder if uh, you're... Check if Cobnock can do his electrical thing. Or I think that's passive, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's passive. All right. I'll double, I'll double check. Storm Gaze. Incoming melee damage has a 30% chance to deal two true damage. Oh, melee damage. Okay, so if you get, like, a hit. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm actually, like, not, not very happy with that. If I'm being uh, very selfish about my cool lightning powers, I think they're current. They're kind of lame. So it's interesting. I I did the head last when I got the lightning transformation. Like it spreads over your body, so you'll have a chance to like send it to other limbs and stuff too. Right. Um. But I did it to a fighter, and I did all the limbs that you would want a mage to have electrical powers on, and I don't think I ever got to the head. Um. Whereas like you started with the head, which is the thing that you'd want a fighter to have. <laughs> Because the fighter's always getting getting melee damage. Yeah. Yeah, it's a kick in the pants. Oh, that was corruption. That was dumb. Oh my god. This rager really knows how to avoid everything. I got hit with that Gorgon corruption. Oh no! Gorilla lagging! No! Yeah, you gotta get out of there. 
Yeah, she's gotta leave. Worst go. is gonna go shred this thing's armor first before we do anything else to it. Go for Let's it. Go bottom armor. Do that. Nice. And now took cover. No, oh, that was that was dumb. That was honestly my bad. Spirit blade, baby. Yeah, look at that. No, Cobnock has. Oh, the combat's over actually. Throwing net. Um, someone who is quite limited should use this. Maybe Santa. Uh, her hands are full, so she can't wield it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you know what she can do? She can switch weapons. Um, if I switch to like a one-handed weapon, I can throw it, and you can switch weapons for free. In this Switching game. weapons is never worth it. I, okay, let me give it to Gurukig. Okay. Because like, she doesn't really have a lot of utility. You want to give it to someone who doesn't have utility, basically. And the she last light thinks into its embers. Warstar remembers his earlier reveries and tucks them away. The next day, they scour Lethal Dam. Scraped up, but empty. Yo, that's me. Maybe they all smelled us left. Oh, yeah. Yo, ah. that's, that's me, though. Okay. Hold on. I gotta, right. do, I gotta do the, the, the cob knock voice. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, scraped up, but empty. Uh, maybe they all smelled us last night and came running. It was a long march yesterday. That's, uh, that's Gurulagan's voice. That's a Calamity. lot of effort. That was a hundred percent not worth it. <laughs> so we're gonna All get right. hit by two rows now. Whenever there's Double tier. Right. Yeah. bummer. Let's uh, let's find an item. Everybody, do it. Oh, that's what not happening. What? Oh, I wonder if we cancel the job instead. There we go. Uh oh. So there's gonna be an incursion starting before or around the time we finish this. Hmm. Let the dam let the dam will <laughs> let the dam will return to the hands of the common folk while they tend it. The site will provide resources at the end of each chapter. I think we should go and uh raise some defenses somewhere. Yeah. We should flip a so coin on something. Who wants uh warding? This this uh, that stops like spells from hitting you. I know that uh, anyone could wear it, but I, in this particular instance, I actually just really like the look of that and would like to give it to Cobnock. Yeah, do it. I think it would match his forehead. <laughs> cloak, cloak that Cobnock. All right, so let's go to Fameware Dam and let's go. Let's gather there. Wait, hold on. Why can't we? Well, hold, hold on. Hold on. Uh, can we defend? Any, can we raise defenses anywhere? We can, but we have to go. We have to figure out where they're actually going to travel to. Well, they can. Um, they can. Like, is it, they're going to be? Gonna, I, I think their default is to move towards Swan Call. So I think uh, Fameware Dam. Oh, actually, we have to clear that anyway. It's getting infested. Um, I think we should go ahead and patrol it to start. Can they come in from literally anywhere, or like? No, they're they're. I think they start from. Um, yeah, they, I think they start from one of the infected tiles. Uh -huh. So. If we do this, we'll make it so that they have to come from Drury Call Workshop. I don't think we're going to make it. Well, they take time to incur, yes. Yeah. So you can see the footpath that they're going to take. That's the little footprints there. Oh. Uh, so let's build some defenses here. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to prepare a defense. Um, so you basically, you can just set it to make all three tiers at once, or you can like do it one tier at a time. It doesn't take much longer. It doesn't take any longer, I don't think. Why don't um, I do, what would be the point of not doing tier three defenses? Uh, well, just, they may not be ready in time. But yeah, we could do that. Let's do tier three. Let's go. Okay. Why are these things not taking? Build defenses. I mean, they keep hitting cancel job. Maybe that's what's happening. Oh, it takes a little bit longer each time. Oh, we're not going to make it to tier three, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Nope. Okay, tier two is right. fine though. At least it yeah. lets you, it gives it to you and not like, yeah. oh, you didn't make it, so therefore you don't get anything. Let's fight him. The, the Gorgons, Gorgons have come. Call you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> silence falls. That's the, that's the silence. Emerging in all their tortured shapes, the beasts only breathe and blink their oozing eyes. How should the defenders respond? Can we count on you? Um, 
Use our knowledge of the land. Hurry, hurry their approach. Stay hidden That's until it. the last moment. Fight with cunning. Or yeah, charge into so, battle. Yeah, so charging into battle, you should give some kind of like courage bonus. Um, if you fail at any of these, um, there are consequences and you start with like negatives. So I don't want to do the 18% chance one. We're just clearly not very good at that. <laughs> but um, yeah, we could charge or we could uh, see if we can get some... I think if we succeed at the stay hidden 67% chance, we start in the gray plane. Um, hmm. Start combat in the gray plane. I'm we cool with charging. From... Okay. Let's hit, let's hit that Let's hit that charge. Let's knock, the, knock some cobs. Take some names. The, the great cry they share, the strength of standing side by side, fills them with defiant courage. They charge. Time for pie. Time for pie. Um, all right, we get haste. Everyone moves fast, and everyone does plus two damage and uh, potency for three turns. Heck yeah! But dang, there's a lot of enemies. Yeah, the incursions are generally pretty powerful. So hold on, let's take a look at this map here. So they're gonna come from both sides, and we have some uh, villagers to help us out. Nim. Uh, Nim and Min. And you get Volley of Arrows. Volley of Arrows is like a free action. Anyone can do it, but only one of us can do it, and then no one gets to do it for two turns. Oh. And um, it's like a big area of effect attack. So I say we... Um, I think if we all rush south, we can crush the monsters there before the northern front even opens up. That's my theory. Yeah. Just, so I'm Santa's just hoping something gives... Oh, oh I can gonna, actually do a lot of damage. Oh, never mind. Santa's going to book it. I was really hoping that Splinter Bass Blast was going to hit them all. War Star is going to... We might do something. I, I want a discus. Oh, there's a good discus. Can it reach? What? Oh, I can't reach yet. War Star is going to get some Spirit Blade going and try and... Ah, oh, I can't hit the Geist. Right. Got to hit that Geist. Um, Four damage to what? The cover? Yeah, the cover. You can damage the cover. Um, oh, yeah. So someone, Nim or someone should... I'm going to use Nim to do the volley of arrows. Yeah, look. We're going to hit everybody. Look at this. Archers. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. We don't usually start clustered like that. That that was pretty, it was pretty good luck. Oh, shit. You moved ahead of Santa. Oh, uh, I thought Santa was going to move a little bit of ahead. Oh, say, say that is Santa's double move right there. Oh. But that's okay. We'll make it. It's I was uh, going to try and make use of this um, discus, but it's actually not going to happen, so I can try and move back with a run movement. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, don't move anyone for a second here. All right, there you go. Pretty sure I'm within range. I can use the uh, discus. That's the important thing. I want that discus. Give me that discus. I honestly... I don't know. I feel like I should keep Gurren Lagan up there. No, I think she's going to get... Like, if anyone does come from there, and I'm not sure they will, it may be that all the monsters are southern front. Um, uh, if she does stay up there, she'll probably get, like, gank a janked. Well, she so can... I'd, I'd, Mm. I get her moving. I get her moving. She can I mean, silk step. Up to you, buddy. She can. She can silk step. Alrighty. I don't. Uh, all right. I'll move her back. It's not. It's up to you. I think that. Uh, I think that's going to be a. I think she's just going to keep her out of the action if she stays back there. Or if she joins the. If action does start up there, she's going to get murked. Yo, I think it's time for a discus. Okay, so there's definitely at least a boar coming from the north. It's discus time! Oh, yes! Oh. Hold on. Let Warstar do some shredding of some armor here. Bingo, bango, bongo. Don't need to shred no armor when you can just discus. Alright. Alright. I, 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 I'm moving current login back. Back up there. I think she's gonna get jumped by a boar. I'm gonna send some villagers in to uh, distract the boar. <laughs> I wanna move Win. What is with this door? This door that, like, doesn't have a wall. Can I open this oh, door? Oh, they're having it? 
Oh, that's a cabinet. Oops. <laughs> it looked like a door. <laughs> I guess all uh, cabinets have doors on them. Oh. Oh, wow. Ouch. Oh, wow. The prophecy came true. The exact prophecy I warned you about. <laughs> I didn't think he would do that much damage. I also didn't know if he had that much movement. I should check to see how much movement these things guys have. All right, well, Santa, everyone, everyone should probably move, uh, or anyone in range should move back behind Santa for the battle line. And, um, uh, what's Wynn gonna do? Wynn's gonna rush the raccoon. Um, Splinter Blast. Don't tell me about no Splinter Blast. Tell me about some Discus. You do love that Discus. I want to be... Oh, wait. Lay Traps of Shards. Oh, wow. Min is a badass. What the heck? Yo! Is that it? Did we did we win? No, there's still another one hidden somewhere. All right, maybe we should split the party to hunt down this last whatever it is. I'm gonna send him south. We're all waiting on you, Cobnock. There's a weird cave in here. Oh, there it is. Right, Santa's gonna move up real close and be ready to gank any throw that comes her way. Then we'll back her up. Nice. No. I'm just gonna send Nim around to like do a quick little look see. You you think there are any uh, other enemies? No, nah, it doesn't look like there's anyone to the south. I think uh, I don't think there's anyone else besides the northern front. And I think that that little um. Oh no, we haven't found a glowing monster spawn zone yet, have we? No. Yo, I was about to use the volley of arrows. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. No, it's all, it's all good. But I'm gonna use them now. <laughs> On absolutely nothing. Hey. Yo. Nice. There it is. We win. Hey, uh. level up. Level up for Warstar, baby. So I can become a bard, which makes recruit jobs uh, a little bit, I think they cost less um, legacy points. And then um, you get plus five stunt chance for all heroes in the party, which is that's pretty cool. Rogue is neat. Every time you get a kill, you enter the gray plane for free. Um, but I'm already so good at piercing that like the gray plane doesn't give me much of an advantage. Um, mm. Mm, brew shot though. Brew I know shot. you have that though. No, Thurshot would be great for Warstar since he's got that armor ability. Yeah, all right, let's do it. In fact, if if I threw shot and then you threw shot, um, they'll like their armor will be shredded, they're be heavily pierced, and then you get to do your uh, bonus damage cleanup thing. Their their cob would be thoroughly knocked for sure. Thoroughly knocked, knocked to hell and back. All right, let's go assault Dreary Call Workshop. Let's do it. Do oh, it. wait, let's heal you maybe. So let's let's build up one more level of defense just so that um. Gura can heal. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not going to include Gura. I can't do, I can't remember if, like, when you work, you can't rest or not. But let's do this. Just in case. Pretty like sure you, you can rest. 
There you go. Hey, look at that. Uh, ooh. Okay, let's get rid of the extra health. I want the bonus monsters. I like bonus monsters. Okay. Cool. I know this is like a selfish player desire, but I, I kind of wish instead of costing legacy points, we instead got like benefits from taking on more monsters. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. I guess it's really a matter of perspective because you yeah. basically get more legacy points for not uh, like eliminating those monster cards. Yeah. All right. Go it's for all it. you, buddy. All right. None of us knew what had changed the beasts who roamed our wilds. Uh, we knew something lived inside them. Blue burning hate that frenzied them, then left them still. A uh, stone sentence, worse and more deadly than any venom. Today we, f uh, we would finally find out where it came from and why it wouldn't stop. Well, jury call workshop looks mostly intact. We should still stay ready. Santa, anything? If it were up to me, we wouldn't be coming here. But here we are. Awkward silence. Personally, I'm done expecting things to go smoothly. Yeah, I'm with you. You just survived an incursion with a hundred percent survival rate. Yeah, we pretty we we nailed it. Moments after Cobnock got lightning forehead, their approach to the town of Drury Call Workshop is completely silent. I was gonna pause for effect there, but uh, no, there was no effect. All right. Uh, let's, let's fan out and explore, troop. No one in here. Oh, what right. The, I remember this. What the heck? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> yeah. YouTuber and live reacts to uh, in-game event. What's this, guys? Is, yo! Is there, yo! Right now, I'm tripping right now. Yo! Poggers! Yo, sheesh! Yo, there's these guys here, but they're uh, they're not moving. <laughs> Yo, let's go. They they turned to stone. Let's stone. Uh, and 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 other good memes. I'm gonna go check this door. Is it, didn't we like explore last time and there were like no, there was nowhere to go except for the barn basically? Um, I still want to it, trigger the events the way they're supposed to be played, but yeah, I think that is what happened. Okay. Awkward silence. We shouldn't be here, we need to leave. This is what will happen and how many more are there? There's tracks. They go up to that barn door. Hey, have you guys heard the story of the Garden of Souls? Whatever did this could still be inside. Grew. <laughs> a bogmore. Oh, I didn't fight a bogmore last time. Whoa, there it is. A gor I, the Gorgon. Oh, ho. Shit. Yo, oh, yo. Right. Let's go. Santa's gonna run. Santa's run gonna run to. <laughs> the Gorgon. Uh, we should lure it through a house somehow, because then there are items there that I can infuse. Oh, shit. Um, okay. It's totally okay if we don't do that. Uh, let's, we'll start moving the battle line back. Um, uh, yeah, I should have I realized uh, that. Oh, that's okay. That. I mean, you're about to get uh, absolutely shit stomped. Can you infuse with the petrified people? Like, can you use them as... <laughs> Uh, I think there's a moral line there that I would not cross. Yeah, no. I, I like, yeah, I'm gonna use someone's like stone dead body to, uh, like, discus an enemy. <laughs> yeah, why not? I don't know. I just, uh, you know, it's like it, the same question is, oh yeah, there's a dead body on the ground. I could just ragdoll him, fling him at the enemy's head. Yeah. See, now we're on the same page. All right. I'm going in this house, and I'll just cool. see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna lay a little trap. This is gonna be a little treat for me if the enemy comes in here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, we can all congregate in the house. We can lure this thing in. 
Gurren Lagan is gonna shoot this guy. Oh, never mind. I, I bungled it. Oh, you know what? I can't remember if the Gorgon does <gasps> melee or uh -oh. not. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Bear! Oh, no. It oh, dodged. Bear! Alright, let's kill the Gorgon first. We've got a start on it already. That's fine. Um, I, c I still cannot uh, do anything to it with Cobnock, but um, certainly I can do something with it. With uh, I think you could probably swing the fire into it, the fireplace, and hit it. I don't think so, but I will try. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, move, move Gura out of the way, though. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gura, you're going to come over here, and you're going to shoot a bear. Oh, my God. She's been missing a lot. Come on. No. Blocked, but... Okay, hold on. Santa can probably finish it off, but then Gura's going to get hit by the Geist. Um, you know what? Santa's going to go protect Gura... No, it's fine. Finish the Gorgon. I feel like that's more important. Gur is well, not going to die gonna, in one hit. It's going to take damage from the fire next turn. Um, yeah, but it, that that won't kill it. Yeah, but like the Geist could really hurt, and like uh, the Geist is going to hurt me. There's no stopping right. that. Just just All kill right. the Gorgon. Eliminating eliminating uh, the number of of threats is is more important. Look at that. Nothing Look to worry it. about. Oh shit. No <laughs> she almost died. <laughs> All right, Santa's getting in there. Hey, everybody. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to Warstar so that I can shred some armor before I attack. Don't attack, don't attack. I'm not going to. I'm moving Gurren Lagan back. Right. Oh, my Gosh. God. Yo, the bear. OP. Oh, you can probably interfuse with the campfire behind it. I totally can, yeah. Oh, except I think I'm just out of range, unfortunately. Oh, Cobnock. I can't, yeah, I can't do it. I'm going to have to move forward one more. Oh, 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 ooh. ooh even Santa's having trouble with this. All right, let's, um, maybe let Santa finish this off, because, oh, no, we should, we should probably get her moving to move the front line up. All right, she'll go last. I might be able to kill the bear. All right, you do your stuff first, and then I'll um I'll go after. I killed the bear. Nice. All right, so Santa will move around the corner. Yo, that wasn't even the main threat. This is gonna be spicy. All right, I'm gonna move up. Four star. Nice. Oh. Uh oh. Shit. All right. Let's uh. Let's get. Let's bum rush the the right house on the right first. I think. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna infuse this campfire out of caution. Okay. You could move. Oh, never mind. Bug mode. Oh my god. All right, Warstar is going to um, back up Santa so that she's got the protective armor and then shred some... Oh, it doesn't even have armor to shred. All right. It's got some purple armor. What does purple armor mean? Oh, that's warding. So that's protection against uh, Cobnox magic stuff. Bummer. Um, I really can't do much here. Does Kavanagh have any, like, buffing abilities, or no? The buffing ability is the Spirit Blade, meaning... Oh, uh, yo, and um, infuse the stump next to us. You'll you'll boost everyone else. Uh, I, I unfortunately just used my move, my, my run action, but that was a very good idea. No, that no was worries, a very good idea that I did not make use of. No worries. We can do that next round. I'll wait for you to do that before we attack so that um, uh, we all get the... Oh, this Bogmore should, shouldn't be a problem. They're more. They're going to be, like, a, more of a cob, cob more. When I'm done with oh, them. Or a bog less. <laughs> a bog minimal. <laughs> oh, why Why is it... Oh, I see. I have to move with Gurren Lagan. Sorry. Here. Oh, yeah. Took cover. Bummer. Dang it. Ouchies. 
Okay, right. so I will infuse with the stump. And actually, I, I think I'm, I can do a discus. No, I can't. Never mind. But it is now spirited. You could, uh, with Sarah, um, or Sana, move back one and then have her do her overwatch thing where when it moves forward, she'll, she'll attack. Or actually, I'll just attack from here. It's, it's as good if I use it as an interrupt or not. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, all right. Warstar is going to try and... Damn oh, it. my God. Come on, Gurren right. Luggen. Oh, you, Gurren. No! Oh, Cobnock, you could uh, you could run in and hit it with your staff, maybe. Oh, my. I actually can't. Uh, that oh, right, right in that crap. one spot is, is a run action. Yeah. Well, maybe get away from the door. It's about to get knocked down. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Tell you what, I'll move right here so that I... I don't. I don't know if we actually get a defense bonus for being near each other. Yeah, you do. The wall. That's what the wall appearing is. Oh, I see. I, it was blocked by Gurren Lagann. Shit, we got a rager. All right, I think Santa's gonna pop in and finish this thing off. Go for it. Yeah, nice. Can she run back out or no? She's on no. corruption right now. Bomber. Yeah. Well, the good news is that I think I can actually hit that uh, boar. No. But what I can do is throw some fire there so that he takes some oh, damage on the way out. Oh, move through it. Solid idea. I'm going to move Warstar a little bit closer. He's got a lot of health right now, and he's, he has some armor. And he's getting um, the spirit um, from the, the campfire. Although I think it's only melee oh. damage. No, I think it... Oh, is it... I can oh, check. Plus one damage of all kinds, but I, I think I'm not directly adjacent. I think I'm. It's, I saw the spirit blade thing come up. Oh, I did. Nice. Pretty sure. Okay, then I do have it. Then I should have it. If I move her here, well, I didn't see the spirit blade come up for her, so that's weird. Oh, anyway. I think you're no longer interfused with it because the fire left it. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, right. we killed the we killed the the rager, so we're all good there. Right. I'm gonna move Santa toward the. Um, we the still big. haven't even encountered the big bad. This is actually gonna be spooky. Yeah. What I'm I'll do is I'm gonna infuse that log, and I'm not gonna use it. It's gonna be just for spirit blade effects. Cool. I'm gonna. Uh, we have time, I think. Like it's not, the thing's not coming barreling out, so I'm gonna silk step and get in the gray plane. Good idea. Um. Okay. So Santa will move into the um on her turn. She's gonna move into that spot to the like in front of the door on the left. Okay. And just hold it for now. And then we all want to get in the different spirit zones. Maybe don't go to that square because that's a good archery square. Okay. Yeah, that's a good good idea. Maybe move, uh, or actually, no, move, let's, I'm going to move Warstar there because he has the most health of um, and armor of the people who aren't Santa. This is also actually, a good idea. Could I move her, like, here? Gurren Lagann? Yeah, I think, that's, I think that's solid. Actually, Santa might move behind Warstar. Oh, yeah. Because she can still hit from behind with the... Um, well, Cobnock could be a tank for a little bit. He's got a bunch of health. Yeah, all right. So maybe maybe Warstar and Cobnock for the front line and Gura for the back. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. No, actually, this works, this works. All right. All right. Kick in the Not door. Oh, my God. A Gorgon. You don't say. All right. Do we want to move in or do we want to hold here? Uh, I think it's... it'll come to us. Yeah, let it come to us. I am going right. to infuse some stuff, though, on the off chance yeah, I can do some good stuff. Um, Discus would be a nice amount of damage. So I'll do a Discus. If you're gonna hold there, then Santa will move forward to the spot directly behind you to like give you the armor bonus. Sounds and good. And then uh, my protection zone is all around you, basically. Okay. I'm gonna have Agura, uh silk step. Okay. Good call. All right, and then I'm gonna. How do I? Just wait. I guess I just said guardian. All right. 
And the uh, Warstar is just going to wait. Hey, here we go. Here we do. Oh. There's a lot of them. Oh, discus time. Oh. Ooh. Yo. Yeah, discus time. Come on. Yes. Yes. Nice. That was a good discus there, right, though. Okay. Yes. Five damage from, nice. from Gurren Lagan. All right, and you got to bypass its armor because you were in the Great Plain. Yo. Warded. Oh, no. All right. Santa's going to bow out. Okay, let me let, let Gura attack first because I can do a through shot. Okay. Do it up. Yo, double kill. That's, Yo, you see? That was great. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move. Four star up. Yo, yes. the big bed was nothing. Nothing. Look at that. Level up Kobnok. Level up Gura. Yeah. He's he's a, more like a Cobb destroyer now. <laughs> Tiger shard right. brooch. Melee accuracy, melee or uh, range accuracy. So just anyone who gets it is more accurate now. I'm cool with Warstar getting it because that would make his uh, through shot or his um, shredders oh, yeah. more likely. Yeah, more, yeah, that's cool. Let's do that. Everyone benefits if he shreds. So, All right, hey. Once per combat, Cobnock gains plus one action point and attack actions only cost one action point this turn. Once per turn, as a single action, Kavnak pulls motes of heat out of the air and gathers them into a single point, creating an infused blaze on a tile with debris. It's kind of nice. Oh, s upgraded spirit blade. Uh, oh, that's plus pretty ten. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not no contest. Um, this is Gurren Logan. Upgrade through shot. Through shots can hit any number of enemies in a line, dealing one less damage to each consecutive enemy. Yeah, that's um, pretty cool. It is pretty cool, but I honestly think having giving her piercing shots as well would be good. Not to do completely just copy or well, start. The that we're, our two builds are now converging. Oh, I mean, I, I just i am not really inspired by a lot of these other ones. That's fair. Um, Although, I don't think there's any, here, like... I, I think heroism could be good. If I understand it properly, you get three actions that turn, and your attack actions don't end your turn, so you could basically get three attacks in a row. Right. But you know, you, you, you follow your heart. Follow your cri de coeur. Yeah, I guess, I guess heroism could be good. We shouldn't have come here. Oh, that's yeah, that's you. We shouldn't have come here. We... What? You're supposed to say Santa wake up it's done, aren't you? Santa wake up it's done. Cool. <laughs> I'm it's the leader. Great. I, it's certainly not your standard plow mule. <laughs> the hulking carcass steams from its many wounds. Hideous convulsions curse course along its appendages to the extremities of its body. Then Oh no, not Swipe. Warstar. No! The thing's tremendous tail flicks across the barn. It plucks up Warstar like he's a straw doll, his weapons falling uselessly from his hands as it pulls him in. I was really hoping it was going to be a uh, Cobnock. Warstar, don't. Oh, wait, that's you. Warstar, don't. Warstar, don't panic. A voice leaks from Warstar's mouth. It's a wrong voice, weird and discordant, like someone fretting and plucking a fiddle who's never picked one up. Still yourselves, bone stacks! <laughs> this one speaks my words! It's like Candyman. I stand by my creative choice. This is, this is pretty good. It's a lot of dialogue to come. I can make it die! The reaction is appropriate. <laughs> You are not alike to us. Weak lungs and small minds. Stacks of splintering bones. Thin blood that will so readily betray you. 
Why flail for your lives? So noisy. Uh, tell us what you want. We'll exchange it for Warstar. You think I flail for life as you do? I am Gorgon, the Master Alstrix, has promised us silence. The voice dissolves into a sound like rain or distant waves. Wriggling grips tighten. A tentacle invades Warstar's ear. <laughs> Jesus. Stop! Santa leaps forward, lifting a nearby pitchfork and hurling it with thunderous force. Stop, I said. Stop. The tines of the fork sink into the beast's neck. Grag. Warstar falls free of its tendrils. See, see if if uh, if Cobnock had gotten that cool disfiguring star, scar, it would have matched his other disfiguring scar. Double scar. Double scar. As Gura and Cobnock rush over to make certain of the Gorgon's demise, Santa supports Warstar, helping him to stand. You're okay. <laughs> A strange stony affliction spreads from Warstar's ear. <laughs> Both of those things are happening. You're okay, as this scar spreads across his face. Warstar? This isn't over. I saw its mind. Oh, uh, this stone was in its claws. Warstar takes a stone from Gura's palm, turning it in front of his eyes, catching slender sunbeams that slice the barn wall. The strange polyhedral stone is slick with gorgon blood. Epicrist! <laughs> what it? Oh. Each face is graven with an intricate image. The word in the gorgon's head was Epicrist. This town, Drury Call Workshop, these petrified people, even this monster... None of it matters. The Epicrist glistens, sticky and blue. The Gorgons have a master. Ulstrix, it's called. It's looking for something, some myth or secret. I think the riddle is in this stone. I think we have to find out what Ulstrix wants. Oh, and make sure he doesn't get it. I lose charisma, but I get loner. Wow. <laughs> what a wonderful trait. Yo, Warstar is the edgelord, too, remember? Yeah, so this is perfect. It's like, don't... Listen, there's going to be a downside. You're going to be less attractive and people won't like you. But on the other hand, you'll be alone, so... <laughs> <laughs> Warstar has acquired trench coat. <laughs> Warstar has acquired mastery of the blade. <laughs> Warstar has acquired terrible taste in music. Ten years of peace follow. All right, so let's hit that next button. Let's see what's let's let's, see what's let's see if we can do this correctly this time. Because last time we oh, did it incorrectly. Know, I found out after last time that you can go to the town and craft stuff between um, breaks. It just takes. I think it takes up some time. Ah, uh, okay. The Gorgon's mark grew and crested over to one side of Warstar's face. It would be a grim reminder of the encounter that day in the Dreary Call workshop bar. After meeting his father, Warstar developed the strange wish to show his friend the house where he'd grown up miserable. <laughs> it sagged there on a sad piece of land, empty. Let's go in. This perfectly matches his, uh, like, decrease in charisma. <laughs> yeah. Want to see an empty ruin? It's my favorite. <laughs> this is the uh, source of my childhood trauma. You take over. Santa and Cobnock were stopped by a traveling woman, a resident of that small village in Shades Marsh where the Great One once fe feasted. She thanked them again for slaying the monster and ended, ending the darkest days of her life. Their talk laid a few of Santa's worries to rest. Warstar spent a month tracking a golden stag. As he finally raised his weapon for the kill, the stag looked him straight in the eyes and laughed. Warstar went home with a prize greater than any set of antlers. Oh yeah? Transformations. 
Advanced Cobnox Transformations. Stone Arm. Oh, yo. Storm Arm. Lightning surges through up to two foes. It's Do basically like, it, it's kind of like Discus in terms of like the effect. But it comes out of Cobnox. So even if there's no, like, nothing to um, attach to, you can still. Uh, Yo, my my arm is badass. Yeah, so that's what I th that's what I this is why I wanted you to get the storm thing. Right. So I could craft a, a better um staff because I already have the tier one staff. Uh, so oh, I see. So we'd have to use up some legacy points. Um, Cost legacy with points. a discount six. Oh, I see. We haven't really been using the legacy points. Yeah, let's do it. Solid. Score! Oh, we need to name it. Windsprig. Um... No, no, no. No, no, no. Thundercob. Thundercob? <laughs> oh my god, that is perfect. Imbued with the chaotic, flaring spirit of... Cobb. <laughs> Excellent. So how do I switch characters is the thing. Uh, so you click on... So I see how there's all the different items? Just click on the item of the character that you want to upgrade or replace. Perfect. So uh, we'll make a dagger for... Uh, well, uh, hold on. Let me go through your characters because I just got a big boon. Um, I wouldn't mind Warstar getting a bow upgrade. And I wouldn't mind Santa getting a spear upgrade. Actually, Santa was getting knocked on pretty hard. I might give Santa an armor upgrade if I can. Um, we'll, we'll give, uh, we'll give Warstar a better bow. What do you want it to be called? Um, uh, let's, what's something real edgelordy? What's it suggesting? Um, Crimson Beach Weaver. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. It's suggesting that I call it. Okay, you oh, wow. Every time, go. every time you click a bow, it changes the suggested name. Oh, I just got Night Root Bow. That oh. sounds pretty edgelord. That's pretty good. All right, I'm crafting it. All right. Um, let's see if we can't get Santa something, some better Santa armor. Santa can get the. She can get the uh, Brawl Guard tier one. Although sometimes armor just kind of randomly drops, and she's the only one who can use that style of armor. Yeah, but like any anything can drop. That's true. I got my I got my wand. All right, let's get uh, all right. Let's give her some brawl guard. Go for it. All right, I'm happy with that. Um, is there anything left? No, there is not. Well, we can I could craft with legacy points. Is there enough to, for? No, there's there's nothing left. We spent everything. Oh, I can give her um a tier one. Uh, for one legacy point, I can give her a tier one um, spear. Oh yeah, that'd be a two. Uh, that would increase the damage by two, which is, I think that's a good investment. I'd say I'd say go for a tier two for three legacy points. Honestly, I think it's yeah. like we're not really spending them, and like we will, but we have ten stored. All right, up. all right, let's let's do it. Uh, Sun Queen's gutter. Yeah, let's call it something else. Um, Hawk spine of Grufica, the whisper strike. I like that. Whisper Strike it is. Oh, right. I forget we can craft offhands, too. There's some pretty cool offhand items. Oh, wow. It, cra it costs nine now to uh, craft. Oh, okay. Let's not do that now. Uh, we'll get at that in the next run. Plus, there'll probably be some random drops. I'm going to hit next. Go for it. Santa fell into the work of deciphering the Epicrist. If this is true, it hasn't always gone smoothly, and progress has mostly dripped along. The meanings of the weird stone have remained inscrutable for years. But today, something in her research slides into place. I really hope it's not too late. And she can now guess where their enemies might be. It explains why we've had a few years of relative peace. Do you see what I mean? Here, imagine you're trying to raise an army. What's the first thing you do? You get some pie. Solid, solid strategy. You raise a few cobs. Also great. Thunderous cobs, if possible. Absolutely. Uh, raise an army? 
Right, an army, out of just normal folks. I suppose I'd look for an enemy first. People love to have someone to hate, said the <laughs> edge lord. <laughs> Jesus a Christ. Symbol. There's like a symbol. There's a lot of... Rally. So, yeah. There's so many problems there. A symbol. You'd want a symbol to rally support, wouldn't you? Especially if your people are ancients and set in their ways. So you're saying our Alstrix, our master of Gorgons, needs this thing? What is it? Some kind of divine spear? Uh, as a symbol to keep to help convince the other Gorgons to follow it? Yes, that's what I believe. And, and why, why does it need to do that? Oh, sorry. That yeah. was the one time I actually knew my cue. Why does it need to do that? Why does it need the spear? Or why does it need the support of others like it? What is Alstrix? Those are things I don't quite know, but the answers will haunt us, I'm sure. I was able to find other records of epicrists. Rubbings. That was my first clue. An epicrist is like an ancient storytelling device, a way for telling a time-honored myth, but maybe in a different order or fashion. That's what I think. And, but, anyway, sorry, I'm getting swept up. I checked the story elements here against some of our older legends. You know that tall tale? Kind of a poem or a song in some places? Queen of the Seas? I know it well, actually. Our stone tells almost the same story. Almost. And according to our version, the spear was laid to rest in a named cavern. It's on one of our maps. So that gives us an advantage, right? We know where it is. But they've got a pretty big head start, so... Uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with us, but Gorgon sightings are picking up again. Now seems like a good time for us to get started. We've all changed, remember? All the havoc those things caused, and we couldn't stop them. But we're ready this time, aren't we? We stand alone in many ways, but we still stand, said the Edgelord. Despite all of my, uh, my, my, like, interest in doing so, like, all of my pressure, uh, Cobnock has really got no agency in this story at all. <laughs> He's like not he been really, given as many lines. He's, he's really a protagonist that uh, kind of gets shuffled off and all of the side characters are given way more limelight. Sorry, when you say all of the side characters, you mean that you you see Cobnock as the only main character and everyone else is a side character? He's like a protagonist that is uh, has been shuffled off and all of the side characters have gotten all the limelight. Okay, I see. <laughs> I see how it is. The shadows deepen. All monster groups will draw an extra monster card in every battle. All right, uh, we should break so, the episode there. That was a long one. All right. Um, if you're enjoying Wilder Myth with me and Peter, then definitely hit that like, like and subscribe button. That's it. Do it. Uh, throw in a comment. What's your favorite pie?